Welcome to this episode of The Promo Show. Grow your business using promotional items with owner and creative bug, Amber Sheffer. Do you send holiday cards to your family or friends? What about your business clients and contacts? Holiday cards are a wonderful way for you to get in front of those business contacts without an invoice or a sales pitch attached. Putting together a holiday card list can force you to do some great things for your marketing plan. It forces you to update that contact list, and if you're like me, you might not be great about updating that throughout the year. Dedicate some time and pull together those contacts, their mailing information, and their email information. This will have a concise, complete list for you to pull those mailing addresses from. Many folks are nervous about what to include in their holiday cards. Speak from the heart. If you've enjoyed a particular project with that client or you've had a long relationship with that client, refer to that in your message. The more personally you can make that card, the more heartfelt it will come across and the more that your client will truly appreciate that you have taken the time to get to know them and to recognize them as an individual instead of just someone that signs a check over to you. Don't be afraid of the task at hand. A lot of folks say, you know, I'm too busy to send out holiday cards to my friends and family, let alone my business contacts. With some proper planning, you can really make a difference and really knock this out in just a few days. Organize your mailing list, organize those contacts, make sure that they're updated, and think about whether or not you want to include little extras like a card that has a photo of your staff or perhaps a little gift tucked into the card. When including a gift in your card, you don't have to spend a lot of money. It can be something as simple as a gift card or perhaps a bookmark or even a jar opener or even a pocket calendar or magnetic frame for the fridge. Make sure that it's tailored to whether it's a business to consumer client or a business to business client and make sure that it's an appropriate gift. One word of caution, if you're not sure whether or not your client celebrates the same holidays that you do, you can always send a Happy New Year's card instead. This is particularly important if you have international clients or businesses located in the U.S. that operate their home office in another country. Can't go wrong with a New Year's card and be sure that it's a paper card and not an emailed card. Um, the power of a paper card actually snail mailed to a location, whether it's an individual's home or their business, has a lot more promotional and personal power than an emailed card in this day of digital everything. Remember, you won't get points for being organized or being thoughtful if your card arrives late or doesn't arrive at all. So start off with a plan, make sure that you're organized, and make sure that you send those cards out. There's a variety of different cards that you can choose from, from recycled, from ones that uh, include a recipe, from those that are photo in nature or very artistic, or perhaps might feature one of your existing other clients. All of those are great ways to set your business apart and truly show that you appreciate the relationship that you have with your client and your customers. For more information about business cards and how to send them, please visit our website and download our tip sheet to help you this year. Thanks for watching. Now go out and promote yourself. Thank you for watching this episode of The Promo Show with Amber Sheffer. For more great information, visit Amber's website at www.greenbuggraphics.com. Also browse the other shows found right here at Indie Biz TV Shows.